And uh, the... Okay, seems we're back into digital. Uh, what? And now we're back in analog, okay. I was a bit too busy to notice, but I saw that RX-7 wipe out. I honestly wonder what the hell happened to it there. Yeah. Failed. No. Rally car. Fucking easy, let's go. We zoom in. And the Yaris wins out of the AI just as expected. No real competition here. Well, of course they were keeping up but due to the rubber band. Yeah, no no competition whatsoever. I didn't put the turbo on or any other power upgrades. Probably by mistake, but it's gonna be fine. Last time I beat this race with car being stocks. Seems that the S2000 has fallen off quite a bit for some reason. Probably had a kerfuffle. Yeah, anyways, they got beat. And a cool five grand into my pockets. I want to put on some insurance. Yeah, yeah, that'll do. I'm gonna be riding the wall. Uh, that was a bit unsuccessful. Probably would have been better off just slowing down. Man, that Fiat can really go. No, it's actually no, it's not the Fiat. The load is Jesus Christ. Ooh, a 92S special. This MX-5 really is special because it has a wing. And I like that wing. It, look, it, looks, it looks really cool. And it's only on the 92S special model. As you can see on the 93, it does not have any wing. Let's go to Grindelwald. Sick. Absolutely sick. Just demolishing them. The sport tires and the sport suspension really do complement each other, will not lie. The car feels really, really nice. Much nicer than the Sylvia. Feels a lot more active. Break, break. I downshifted a little bit too soon. No! no. It's not spin here. Nice, nice, nice. Six kit, but no spin. Mm. Yeah, we're 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 kind of we're kind of dominating, even though I'm making a fuck ton of mistakes. Oh, we got this easy. That was a pretty terrible launch. Quit, quit driving me into the wall, please. Of course we're pulling. What did you expect? Anyways, slap some on that. Not the whole package. Yeah, this should do. Sounds like a race car. Seems the S2000 is giving me a run for my money. It's a bit scummy at the end, but whatever. Yeah, that was pretty close. So I am going to put the turbo on. As you can see, power issues, are, they are already blow, blowing me out of the water. I am catching up to them, these complex sections. Which of course, I've got the handling. And there's the Camaros sneaking, sneaking up on the inside. Bit of a rough job, but whatever. Now they're just gonna obliterate me in the street. Can I help them with the slipstream? Catch up, maybe they'll wipe themselves out. No, they actually didn't catch me, so th that was a bit of a surprise. So welcome one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely no competition whatsoever. Compact car cup. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna drop the power, it's just gonna take everything off. Let's beat up to a pulp faster. And look at him just, just fucking went straight. Straight into the wall, bounced off without losing any momentum whatsoever. Well, they did lose some speed. I'd be lying if they haven't. 
because I just managed to pull away from them. You now they were a little bit more tame around that. Might have been due to the fact that I was out of range to see what they, what the hell they were doing. For Grand and the new car. Nice time to skip. Got up the gas here. Midway through, enter into the gas. Man, those little cars are on my ass. Which, of course, it's due to the rubber band and I, the fact that I can't keep momentum as well as they can. I'm a winner. Definitely have gotten faster, I can tell you that much. Oh, that's our Jesus fucking Christ. And they just went for a really aggressive lunge, even though they went off. And they got back on to speed real fucking quick. Yeah. Look at, look at that Yaris just fucking killed me. That's not very nice, Mr. Yaris. Or Grand again. Nice. Okay, and we got a silver Yaris. Silver metallic. Nice. And I messed up with the Clio and everything. Pacific blue. It's too dark to be blue. Pacific blue, but whatever. I don't really know my colors. And a jazz blue Lupo. Nice. I think I will be needing some power. I'm gonna put on the inner core back. Some really, really neat cars we so got. We got a 166, we got an Alpha 166, we got an Audi S4 B5, we got a XJ Jack, we got a, we got a Mercedes up in front, and we got this, this thing. Is it the Avenger? Fun fact about that car is the race mod, actually, BMW up, up front of 7 Series and the Mercedes up top. Back on topic, fun fact about the Dodge, due to the scrapping of uh, the drag racing mode in GT2, well, there are some dragsters, and this car is, oh, I think at least, was a planned dragster, a uh, front wheel drive dragster to be exact. It's got that, because it's got that drag inspired racing modification, which is really cool. Okay, so let's check out the Intrepid that I was talking about. Intrepid ES. It certainly is, is a luxury sedan, supposedly. If you can call anything luxury from Dodge or Chrysler. Look at that. Look at those thick, thick rims. Look at that scoop. Oh my god. Now who would use the yellow paint scheme? Just piss. Competition's gonna be a bit more powerful. The cars are the same, but just they'll have more power. Not as loud as the 787. Man, now the AI really is giving me a run for my money. You know, there are land boats. They got the top speed, but no matter how much top speed they got, they ain't up passing me. That's the Aristo V300. Well, it's it's the same thing as the Lexus GS300. But this one's got a got a super engine. We've got the pooper power. And immediately they're just flying away. Um, we still can do this. So in lap one, I got that slipstream going. Come on. No, still still pretty close. Let's go. Fucking send it. Absolutely suicidal. And there's no way I'm catching that jag. Fucking hell. How fast are these things? Come on, I've never had I never had so much trouble with these things. Christ almighty. It's an XJ 3.2. It's not even the XJR. Like Christ, these things are fast. Okay. When you're feeling too slow, you gotta do one of the two things, less weight or more power. So let's go back to Mazda, stage two. Honestly, now I'm just gonna do stage three, I don't care. Yeah, much faster. Absolutely much better. And handling wise, the car is a lot better. Actually, I made that corner now. Yeah. 
second faster. Nice. Full throttle. Come on, we got this. Yeah, fucking easy, let's go. Just took a little bit less weight. Remember guys, gals, if you want more speed or anything, really, just reduce your weight. Drop some weight, just get rid of that unnecessary weight. It'll become more agile and faster. America! Let's go beat some muscle cars, guys. And I'm gonna keep the power as it was because muscle cars, even if they are fat, they're pretty fucking quick. They got they got some power. They got some get them and go. I'm not sure if they're stock or not. Just look at them just launched. They're just gonna die on the long turn one. Jesus Christ, they're trying so hard to keep up. Just slamming right into the wall. I'm just gonna start to catch up on the street, hopefully. Yeah, the, look at the Mustang go, just, just coming. Yeah, just dead. What is fair in this world, exactly, so? If you don't bring a fast enough car, you lose. If you bring a car that's more than capable enough, then you win. It's all about that. It's all about being fast. If you don't bring a car that's fast enough, well, you're gonna lose. Okay, race number two. Seattle full. There's a GTX flying in front. I'm just gonna die. Yep. So that thing can't steer for shit. Just feels pretty solid. Or a road car. I say that as I fucking die. Eh, that was a pretty sick. Jesus fucking Christ. Did you see that? That GDX just fucking went full fucking send into the wall. Oh yeah, epic fucking. Another one. And across the line. And the GTX actually managed to get third after that. It's impressive. And it seems that the Challenger or whomever, or was it the Cuda, died. Whoa, some death. Ah, almost died myself. Jesus Christ. Oh well, I still win. Absolutely no competition. These are some pussy destroyer cars, like, not gonna lie. No more lines this time. Oh, that cappuccino. No matter where you will encounter the cappuccino, it's just gonna be absolutely demolishing the competition. No joke. And victory is ours. Which is nice. Even the Lotus Land couldn't keep up to the chadness of the Suzuki Cappuccino. If you want a superior car than an MX-5, you just get a Cappuccino. Yeah, I can see that there's like a Viper RT-10, there's a Griffith, probably a Cobra as well. See a Tuscan? No, that's a Tuscan. Duped him. Whoa! You see how that Viper just fucking went. Christ. Yeah, no, we're, we're flying like Christ. Six second, six second faster. Six seconds faster. No, 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 no. Ah, I spoke too soon. But yeah, six seconds faster on lap one. Oh, what the hell? What the hell happened there? Come on. Don't do this to me, game. Please, don't do this to me. Yeah. And across the line. Whoa, that was intense. Absolutely fucking crazy. Oh boy, oh boy, the Tuscan just outright died. And there's the Volante. Whoa. Whoa, that was intense. What were we doing last time? Let's see. Okay, so we finished the Open World Car Cup. So what's next on the agenda? Seems the Historic Car Cup is ripe for the taking. Well, it's an MX-5, and it's pretty much it's pretty much a stock MX-5. So, well, it kind of goes, kind of, sorta, not really.
Yeah, it goes as fast as I expected. Kinda really doesn't go, but it's good enough because the competition doesn't really go anywhere, as you can see. Since this is the Historic Car Championship, you would think that the prize cars would be all Historic Cars or something like that. But no. no. Okay, we got G Ooh, two GT40s. Whoa, that's, uh, that's really sick. Okay, hopefully this will be easier. No, you're not getting past. Not... Yeah, 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 easy. Fucking easy, let's go. And the illegal opponent here... That appears is the Corvette C2. It's got like 434 horsepower, the event limit is 394, but it's absolutely a joke. And we come in first, with the Shelby 3.4 seconds down. Ah, Christ. I try to uh, try to ride the wall there, but it seems that I failed. Absolutely no competition, and uh, hopefully they will never be because if they are, that's a bit worrying. Mm. This is Twin Ring Motegi Super Speedway before Twin Ring Motegi Super Speedway. It's like pseudo indoor section. I really like that. The amount of people just that showed up to see a couple station wagons get beat by an RX-7 in in two laps around around this egg-shaped oval. It's incredible. You'd expect to see grandstands. Oh, these ones are empty. Or are these grandstands? Yep, those are grandstands, but they're empty. Race number two complete with my flawless victory. Weirdly, the power level stays the same throughout the series. I usually find that the opposition on the final race tends to be toughest. Yeah, and they keep keeping up really well. They probably are running like three. We'll see on the streets how well they do. Pretty much as expected. So, three races, three W's. What's next? Very nice launch. Okay, now we are starting the three lap. Uh, the three lap events. Oh god, oh god, oh god. What the heck did I do? My quest for handling destroyed me. And we take the W. Bit of a poor start. Clearly see the AI's power advantage over me. But they just kinda die. Come on, let's go. Yeah, now this this is some proper competition, but the they have the power, but they they don't have the handling. Absolutely. I'm just out handling them. Manhandling them. To be exact. Mm. To contend, the Camaro takes the second place finish once again. Enough. Enough is enough. And. I and we destroy the competition. Expect nothing less. Man, do I love this track. I wonder who's in second. It has to be like a star the Starlet or a Micro Super Turbo. Can't imagine anything else. Because those two little hatchbacks are absolutely... Uh, like, our actual hybrid sheets. They have, like, non-standard gearing and shit. Come on, get in my slipstream, come on. Actually, this isn't... This doesn't look like a any starlet to me. This seems like a oh, it's an S13. Whoa, that's that's the first that's the first time I've seen S13 to be this quick. But and I guess there were well there was a starlet turbo S87 and finished fifth. Oh yeah, remember me looking for cars in the Mazda dealership? This is the car that I was looking for. The RX-7 GT Turbo, the FB RX-7, like the first generation. It's a really good car. It looks really wacky though. It's, it's definitely a car of the era, I can tell you that much. It's, it's an early 80s car, what do you expect? Well, it's an early 80s Japanese car, so they still have the 70s aesthetic, the mirrors being on the hood, or on the bonnet, and not like next to the driver. Just kind of a weird and awkward place to have those mirrors, but okay. Gonna keep everything the same. Honestly, 
put on sports tires. Sure. Whatever. Very good launch. I really like it. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm definitely I'm definitely noticing the lack of super softs. And this lack of super softs is really well it's it's not yet biting me in the ass. Since I am still ahead and I am pulling away but not as quickly. Not so soon, yeah. Too soon on the accelerator and I'm off track but still managed to keep it under control. Didn't want to cut that corner, but I don't care. Whatever. It's not like it. It's not like it's gonna be a, a matter of life and death. A bit too slippery with the suspension setup. Anyways, I take the W ooh, for 20, just like today. Nice. But the look, the micro super turbo came in second. Yeah, just as expected. For this I'm gonna keep the car the same. Probably just. Yeah, do that. Let's not make the rear as uh, prone to oversteering. Okay, this actually feels a lot better than my previous to do to do to do, 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 do. Oh, Sick drift, bro. Epic fucking drift, man. That was absolutely outrageous. I think I tuned a pretty decent drift missile. And because I shifted a little too early and I spun. Missing the wall by just like millimeters. Another sick drift, and we win. Anyways, I'm just destroying the carpet. Yes, finish! Hooray! Okay, the Next up, we've got the Pure Sports Car Cup, and back to the two-lap format, unfortunately, or maybe fortunately for me, because it will take less time. Okay, I'm gonna shorten the gear ratios a little bit, I'm gonna keep everything the same for now. Race 1 at Laguna Seca. I had the lightweights, like the Lotuses, so you got a Stratos. You got some, you got a Tommy Kyra and you got like a Tom's Angel T01. Whoa, the opposition is actually giving me run for my money. Tiny sports cars with with their engines in the middle are gonna go down here, and we already have a few casualties. Ah. Let's hopefully hope. Let's hope that I won't be one of them. Oh, this is. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. No, fuck you. Let's go. Come on. He's on my rear. Whoa! Just look at him. Look at him go. Right off the circuit. That's the AI for you. Really fucking aggressive. And with the rubber band, the casualties are coming back. And yep. You. Come on. No. No. Whoa. Okay, let's let's really focus on this. Gonna go on the inside. Double crash and I cause eh. Eh, no double crash. Just a tiny barge. And we finished the race. Pretty close race. Absolutely perfect song for this. There's a Cerbera, there's an RX-7. The RX-7 is not going to be too much of a threat. It's mainly the Tommy Kairas and the CRs that threats. Maybe the S-2000 if there is one. Oh, that's sick. 
Should have break there. Hopefully that didn't cost the race. Come on. Come on, we got a TBR to catch. Am expecting. At least I am thinking. Let's not fuck this up. Okay, yeah, the, this is what I was looking for. Eight grand. And a new car. Okay, final race at Troll Mountain. Yeah, I'm very in good launch. On the inside of both the NXX and the Cerbera. Now to take out the Motorsport Elise. Yeah. Easy. Let's hopefully not make any mistakes. Because unlike this song, there won't be a second chance. And across the line. No issues whatsoever. 